The whisper of wind through pines and the rhythmic gurgle of a hidden stream were the only companions keeping Zhao Wei company as he surveyed his modest farm nestled amidst the rugged peaks of China. His weathered face, etched with the lines of a life spent under the relentless sun, held a stoic serenity. Though his days were filled with the back-breaking labor of tending his land, a flicker of loneliness resided in his heart. It stemmed from the absence of his son, Kai, a young man of exceptional intellect pursuing his studies in a distant city. Every sunrise brought a fresh start, every sunset a quiet acceptance. Zhao Wei worked tirelessly, planting seeds of hope in the fertile soil, mirroring the hope he nurtured for Kai's future. The villagers who shared the secluded mountain valley looked on with concern. Their respect for Zhao Wei was as deep as the roots of the ancient pines, and they understood the burden of working the land alone. Zhao Wei, Wang, a seasoned farmer with a warm smile, would say while taking a break from clearing his own field, isn't the work too much for one man anymore? Kai, strong as a young ox, could be a great help on your farm. Xiao Wei would pause, wiping sweat from his brow with a worn cloth, and his response was always the same delivered with a calm smile that held an aura of mystery. Bad luck or good luck, who knows? His words, a cryptic riddle woven into the daily fabric of their lives, often left the villagers puzzled. Yet, they respected his way of life, his deep connection to the rhythm of nature, and the wisdom that seemed to flow from him like a hidden spring. Life in the remote mountain valley was a constant struggle against the harsh realities of poverty. Most villagers scraped by, their faces etched with the worry of making ends meet. But Xiao Wei, with his unwavering dedication and some unknown measure of good fortune, managed to thrive just enough. His saving grace was a sturdy chestnut horse named Fong. Strong and reliable, Fong could handle the workload of several men, allowing Zhao Wei to be more productive and enjoy a slightly more comfortable life. One crisp autumn morning, the valley woke to an unsettling silence. The usual cheerful neigh that heralded Feng's morning greeting was absent. Xiao Wei, his heart sinking with a premonition, rushed towards the stable. The sight that greeted him confirmed his worst fears. The heavy wooden door hung ajar, swinging gently in the cool mountain breeze, and the stable was empty. Despair settled on his weathered face like a shroud. Kai, having recently returned from the city, found his father staring at the empty stable, his face mirroring the bleakness inside. Shame and regret twisted Kai's insides. He had rushed out the previous evening, neglecting to properly secure the latch on the stable door. Father, Kai managed to choke out, his voice heavy with guilt, it's my fault. I must have forgotten to close the stable door properly. Xiao Wei simply looked at his son, a silent understanding passing between them. Then, turning away, he spoke in his usual calm tone, bad luck or good luck, who knows? The villagers, upon hearing the news, arrived to offer their condolences. Expressions of worry etched onto their faces mirrored the concern in their hearts. Zhao Wei, Li Mei, a kind woman known for her herbal remedies, said, 
placing a hand on his arm, such terrible misfortune. Fong was your lifeline. Without him, the work will be impossible. The good luck you've enjoyed seems to have vanished, another villager chimed in. Xiao Wei, however, remained unfazed. His usual enigmatic smile played on his lips as he spoke, we till the land, plant seeds, and hope for a good harvest. But nature has its own ways. We can only control our actions, not the outcome. Days turned into weeks, and despair threatened to engulf the valley. The villagers, already struggling, began to worry about Zhao Wei's ability to survive without foam. But then, on a warm afternoon, a commotion broke the monotony of village life. Shouts and excited chatter filled the air. Intrigued, Zhao Wei and Kai stepped out of their farmhouse to see what was happening. A group of villagers approached, their faces alight with excitement. Zhao Wei, Wang exclaimed, barely able to contain his joy, we saw foam grazing near the western ridge. And he wasn't alone. Hope flickered in Zhao Wei's eyes. Could it be true? He quickly grabbed his walking stick and, fueled by newfound energy, headed towards the western ridge, Kai and the villagers at his heels. After a strenuous climb, they reached a clearing overlooking a breathtaking vista of rolling hills. And there, amidst the tall grasses, they saw foam. But he wasn't alone. 